Ultrasaurus. There are definitely a few Ultrasauruses here at the Zoids Room. Ultrasaurus was a powerhouse for the Helic Republic military back in the day. She managed to drive off the Imperial forces from the continent, which was a big, big win for the Republic. Unfortunately, once the Empire started rolling out with Death Saurus, the Ultrasaurus was ill-equipped to deal with them. So ill-equipped that in the battle story lore, only one Ultrasaurus managed to survive, and she was retrofitted twice. Once into Ultrasaurus the Carrier here, which essentially gives it a big, big backpack with three air pads for long-range seafaring travel. So she was a bigger transport sword now. And once is Ultrasaurus the Destroyer. As you can see here, pretty much slapped with every cannon the Republic could find and delegated to long-range bombardment. But hey, as long as it works. Over here we have the NJR Ultrasaurus, the second release of Ultrasaurus in Japan in this nice silver and black color. The original Japanese released or OJR version of Ultrasaurus is an interesting black and blue kind of color scheme, but I haven't managed to snag one of these yet. They're kind of expensive. She's an absolutely beautiful Zoid. It's 16 inches tall, making her tied for the tallest Zoid kit ever made, tied with King Gojulus. She's powered by two C batteries, I believe, down here in her stomach. She has a crew of eight. It is absolutely stunning. My favorite Zoid. And as you can see behind her, we have two of the Kenner version of Ultrasaurus, which was renamed Battlesaurus back when Kenner was selling Zoids over here in North America. It's uh, not quite as pretty as the other versions. I don't know what Kenner was thinking with these wacky colors, but hey, Ultrasaurus is still Ultrasaurus. Down here we have an incomplete custom of mine, Ultrasaurus the Carrier. As you can see, she's got her big flight decks so that were 3D printed. I'm going for a more navy camo paint job with this thing, but I think it's coming out pretty well. Way over there with no head, we have another incomplete custom of mine. This one is going to become Ultimate Phalanx, which appeared in the Zoys GBA games. And over here, the jewel of my collection, the Guardian Force Ultrasaurus. This is supposed to be the one that appeared in the first Zoids anime, Zoids Chaotic Century, where Ultrasaurus appeared magnitudes bigger than she normally does and is equipped with a nonsensical, awesome space potato gun that makes black holes. Best Zoid, peak fiction. And over here in the glass case, we even have the D-style version of Ultrasaurus by Kotobukiya. This version is great because not only does it have the four super cannons that Ultrasaurus is normally equipped with, but it also comes with a teeny tiny gravity cannon so you can have two different loadouts. Plus she's just so adorably cute in chibi form. And lastly, we have an acrylic standee over here of Ultrasaurus and Moonbay from Zoid's Chaotic Century. This was from a Kickstarter a few years ago by Pillows. There might be a couple of these left on Etsy if you're looking for them. As you may have guessed, I love Ultrasaurus.